AMAT was established in 2019 as a joint initiative of the United Nations Office of Disarmament Affairs and the Geneva International Center for Humanitarian Demining. Although we work along the four lines of service within GICHD, our work is really split into two main pillars. The first pillar and the main reason behind the establishment of AMAT is to provide technical assistance to states in safe, secure and effective ammunition management. The second pillar is to work with and through our partners in order to strengthen the field of ammunition management through the development of methodologies, concepts and tools that align with international ammunition technical guidelines. Yes, in 2020 we got an assistance request from the Republic of Moldova asking us to come in and do a, essentially a stock taking exercise or a review of their physical security and stockpile management practices for ammunition management, as well as a review of their national action plan. In October 2020, the AMAT team traveled to Moldova to carry out key stakeholder interviews with representatives of the Ministry of Defense and high-ranking officers of the armed forces and carry out ammunition storage area site visits in order to see how ammunition management practices are implemented on the ground. Yes, in October 2020, we started implementing EU Council Decision 2020-979 in support of the establishment of an international arms and ammunition validation system. This project is being implemented by GICHD through, through the AMAT team and focuses on carrying out a feasibility study and the desirability of establishing such a system. It involves working with and through an expert working group, which is made up of uh, EU member states and other experts in the field of ammunition and arms management. This project is important because it will be the first time for states to be able to claim, but also to be validated on their stockpile management practices in order to prevent accidental explosions and diversion of arms and ammunition from stockpiles. This information can also be used uh, to inform decision-making processes uh, within the EU, but also internationally. In the coming year, AMAT will continue providing technical assistance to states and its partners. To learn more, please visit amat.gichd.org.